Good morning, accepted students. Uh, my name is Derek James. Welcome to the College of Agricultural Sciences. I get an opportunity to speak to you today, um, and I welcome you uh, to what I will brag about today as being one of the best colleges on campus. We were definitely the first for the reason why we are here. I'm just going to talk to you about uh, the awesome opportunities our college may have for you. And so we're going to get started with um, community, uh, success, opportunities, and impact of the College of Agricultural Sciences. First, let's talk about uh, your community. Um, this is your academic home. There are about 3,000 students in the College of Agricultural Sciences across our you know, 24 various campuses in the uh, state of Pennsylvania. Um, the majority of our students um, happen to be uh, women, which is great. Uh, we're a STEM college that is majority women, which means it has been an inclusive space uh, for women to excel in STEM sciences. Um, also an awesome opportunity for any student who would, who would join us. Um, that being said, about 2,100 of those students are at the University Park campus. Uh, we have about 600 at the Commonwealth campuses and 260 uh, students at the world campus. Uh, we have 17 different majors that range from plant science, animal science, veterinary and biomedical sciences, um, pharmacology, toxicology, immunology and infectious disease, just to name a few, uh, to 24 different minors that might uh, pique your interest in, in developing skills uh, that supplement uh, your major. And so we want to also focus on the engaged learning activities that happen within our college, and you'll see those as we continue to move forward. We're a small school um, within a large university, as I said, the, those 3,000 students, but 73% of our students do come from the state of Pennsylvania, 24% um, uh, out of state, and we have a, a small percentage of international students with um, and so we're looking to grow both in um, the students who are doing this good work um, from all over the place. And so these are just, this is just an example of, of that. To can continue with our success and opportunities and impact, we want to talk about the success of our students, um, the opportunities our students have had um, across campuses. And so we've had students who have become you know, people who are in governmental positions. We have students who do research right here on campus. Uh, we have awesome facilities to talk about, not just uh, the background being Beaver Stadium in this slide, but this is where a lot of the opportunities our students get a chance to take part in, not only on helping uh, with turf grass science, we have the number one turf grass science program um, in the nation. And so uh, our students get a chance to work on that at, at this awesome, um, Turfgrass Research Facility. We also have a brand new uh, animal veterinary and biomedical science building um, built to uh, supplement and hold uh, many of the great labs that we have as a resource for our students to build their skills in the labs, their knowledge base, so they can go off, whether it's vet school, med school, or graduate school, or into industry. We want them to have the skills uh, to do that. And, to speak more specifically, talking to one of our current alum, who is a current uh, vet, she said she was more than prepared um, as a uh, student in vet school for what her experiences were at Penn State. And so we want to continue building successful students, and we think that you would be a great addition to that. Also, students who have taken on roles in the government students who have taken on roles to, um, to have internships. As you can see from this slide, 75% of our students have uh, completed an internship, at least one. Those internships do a great job of introducing students to industry or research, finding out what you want to do, finding out the things you do not want to do. That is an important part of this college journey for you. And so make sure you take advantage of the opportunities given so you can figure out your path. This will not be a straight line, folks. Um, so figuring it out through internships uh, will help you be successful. We also have a career fair. It fills up the bottom of the Bryce Jordan uh, Center every fall. Tons of companies come to see what our students have to offer. 
and they really enjoyed the in-person feel of it this year. It's been a while since we've been in person, um, but it was enjoyed by many of the folks who are here um, to represent their companies. Let's talk about some of the opportunities our students have. Uh, taking a look at the slide here, um, students can take part in many different clubs and organizations across not only the university, but the 40 or so clubs and organizations within the College of Agricultural Sciences, from the pre-vet club to the food science club to manners, the group that I advise for minorities in ag, natural resources and related sciences. If you are interested in any club or organization, uh, you can find yourself well represented here in the College of Agricultural Sciences. This is just a few pictures of us. Many of you who plan on being vets may watch Critter Fixers. This was a chance we had to meet the Critter Fixers at a national conference uh, in the spring of 2022. Uh, this is our students who we took. This is one of our national officers here. Um, and so we are well represented in national conferences and in national organizations. And so take advantage of those opportunities to uh, keep yourself involved. Here's some research pictures of our students. Uh, we want our students to be engaged in research. And um, these opportunities and internships for that matter, these opportunities have led to careers, have led to graduate schools, have led to future PhDs in industry, um, uh, industry leaders. And so we've had students who are in the blue band who also participated uh, in ag sciences as a student. And so this student uh, in this awesome picture is in the middle of a flip. I believe he was an IID uh, major. Uh, the top left picture is Talia Seymour, who is a current um, third year immunology, toxicology uh, PhD at Rutgers. And so we have students who have gone on and are currently doing great things. You also gain a student network, 1200 student groups, as I talked about are across campus, but you also have our Ag Science Career Fair, I mean, uh, involvement fair, so that you can see what uh, groups you can get involved with while you're here on campus. 40 or so uh, clubs or organizations will be represented at that Ag Involvement Fair. So take advantage of that in that first week to see what's available to you. Let's talk about impact. The impact of our college is immense. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture here of just uh, a, a, an opportunity to see four people with uh, Penn State degrees who vary in careers, but are all doing the work that um, Act Sciences has prepared them to do. Uh, so you can see our alumni are extremely involved. Um, I'm actually recording this um, in preparation of our alumni and scholarship banquet dinner. We have a very involved alumni. I'll show you how involved they are in a moment. Our students and staff um, want to make an impact. So they do their best to volunteer and uh, build you know, community support and uh, community events. And so we look forward to those opportunities. And we want to do an, a, a larger impact. This again is an opportunity to see uh, the group that I advise, but also uh, ag science students at a national conference, getting a chance to meet Dr. Blue from uh, the Houston Vets. Um, he said specifically that our in-state students asked great questions, but not just their questions, their preparation seemed to be uh, top notch. And so in making an impact, whether it is vet school or business or teaching or whatever a student may go into, our goal is that we make an impact when we are there. This picture here is of three alumni of Penn State. I think I said four previously, but three, um, one of whom is a current uh, you know, governmental affairs person at the, uh, in a large company here. Um, one works for the university and that would be me, but another is our secretary of agriculture for this uh, state of Pennsylvania. He is also uh, a Penn State grad, doing great things, uh, building up community um, to increase student representation within the agricultural sciences. And so this is uh, not a small thing. We are looking at making large impacts across the state. One of the largest impacts we do make is the $3 million awarded annually to our students. $3 million um, for students to 
not only get more access and have more resources, but have the ability to um, gain experience through research. We have an undergraduate research uh, fund for students that allows them um, on a rolling basis to find research opportunities and be paid for those. $2,000 goes into their pockets to gain research and um, gain experience in research. And so we have a, a community ready to accept you as a student and prepare you uh, to be successful. Uh, you will see success around you in terms of students wanting to help, wanting to provide uh, more community support, and we want to, to help you be successful. That happens through the opportunities we offer as a college, um, as a small college within a large university you know, where we have resources, we have the people ready to provide you with opportunities. And then those opportunities, we want you to make an impact, whether that is in your small sphere or in the larger sphere of campus, uh, college, or, or university. We look forward to having you as a student here uh, in the College of Agricultural Sciences. Um, if you get a chance to attend one of our uh, in-person accepted student programs, we would look forward to having you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We wanna make sure that your uh, understanding of what you're getting into, the opportunities that we have, that you are aware of them. It's great to talk to you today. Have a good one.